Hello, everyone. I'm Yamino, the artist of Sister Claire, and I'm joined tonight by... The one, the only, the incredible, the indelible, Ash Barnes. I write the missing moments, and I help Eleanor write the comic. And I am going to do... Oh, right, David, you need to introduce yourself. And, uh... David the dutiful. <laughs> <laughs> David the beautiful, the dutiful. <laughs> He's my brother. But I'm working on one last tea tin before the the sale uh, when Sister Claire teas get featured tomorrow on Adagio. So I'm going to work on a Hanabi tin. Let's see. Oh yeah, we should say happy birthday to Priscilla. Yes, happy birthday, Priscilla. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Priscilla. Priscilla. <laughs> happy birthday to you. And many more. Ooh, on channel four. <laughs> How dissonant. Um, Jingo P says, Yami no for a mistress of evil, you sound really cute. Uh, I don't care. I agree. Isn't she precious? No, I'm evil. No, evil. No, no, no. Evil. Blaze is asking if we've sent out postcards yet. We haven't. We will attempt to do that very shortly. I'm almost done writing them. Maybe I could finish that up tomorrow and give them to Elena soon. How do the Japanese hold their little teacups? Like, you, you, one hand is like the plate and the other one is holding it down. Like okay. this. Okay. Yeah, except this is a bomb of water. <laughs> Can you do that again for yes. me really quick? I think I've got it. Mm. Lara says, oh, Elena, she could be drinking from one of those broken cups fixed with gold. Isn't that called choking? Something like that? I have no idea what that is. I, I think can... it's called cho uh, choking. Let me can see. look it up. Let me look. It sounds good, though. That might just be a plate, actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> That's something else. Oops. I really like Hanabi. I know she killed Oscar, but I still really like her. <laughs> Your people will like her. Yeah. Kintsugi, is that what it's called? Hmm. Don't ask me. I have no idea. Yeah, Kintsugi. Let me look that up. Or Kintsukuroi. Oh. Hmm. I think I spelled it wrong. Maybe not. Uh, kin, like money, and ski, like... Yeah. Hmm. Isn't it pretty? Yeah, there it is. How lovely. That's a really cool idea. Hmm. 
Magi Catherine. Uh, <gasps> this one is perfect. Lord. Yes. Too bad it's not going to be colored, <laughs> so you won't know how beautiful it is. Magi Catherine says, It is nice to see Hanabi get some love. She didn't have the most graceful of entrances, true, but the same can be said of many members of the cast. Hey, I thought her entrance was super graceful. It was more her everything else that was yeah. <laughs> not so graceful. Getting slapped in the face with Catherine's bloody hand. Aw, mm -hmm. uh, Shabbat Salubri said, I just got my June postcard yesterday. Aw. Oh, oh I, dear. I'm sorry. I promise we sent it a lot sooner. Well, it's it's because it's a postcard. Like, sometimes those get tossed around and they don't arrive as quickly as they ought to. Um, it's a peril of them being very light, I think. I've heard from people who didn't get some for, like, a couple months and then they get, like, four. <laughs> um, and they're like, oh! It's a nice surprise, though, to get postcards. I always like anticipating them. <laughs> hey, Ash, did you look into the P.O. box today? You know I didn't know it was um, with you. <laughs> I, You're not the first person to ask. Blaze also wanted to know if we had. And no, I had lunch with my hot wife instead. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. <sighs> We gotta get that sorted out before my birthday so people can mail me presents. <laughs> greedy. Greedy, 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 as my Zia Giovanna would say. <laughs> She'd say that to me a lot when I took, I'd grab like handfuls of candy or something. Greedy, greedy. Oh, Shabbat Salubri is from South Africa. That's awesome. Whoa. Cool. It's really interesting to think that something that I wrote on is now not only on a different continent, but it's like, wow, like way down there. Mm. That's cool. Oh, we know some of your postcards also go to the land down under. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jaden is Jaden F is wondering if Hanabi is inspired by Twilight Sparkle. A lot of people have thought that that was kind of an accidental thing that happened with her color palette and her hair and her star shape thing. You could say maybe it was a subconscious influence, but if I I'm going to be real about who really inspired her. It's Makomori. I just gave her longer hair. Originally, I wanted Hanabi to be a little bit more um, techy, more of like a tech mage. And then she sort of developed into a, a fireworks mage instead. Oh, Debola is the person who I send postcards to in Adelaide. That's awesome. Oh. I, I remember writing that address over and over. <laughs> Why? Because it didn't go through, or just because she's been supporting us a long time? Mm -hmm. The oh. the latter. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hmm. Oh, oops. And Devil has said they don't get postcards. There must be another one. There is another one. Oh well. Don't 
Sabalu said, it's not me, I'm poor. I wish we could offer the postcards, like, for a lower pledge amount, but it takes a lot of time to write and draw them, and plus we do, like, there is money to be spent sending them out. Um, it's not, it's not a lot individually, but when you add all of the patrons together, it does amount to something. <laughs> Especially if they're international. She's so cute. I love her. Even if she did kill my fave. It's truly not side-ish. It's midnight hour. I know. It's Friday. That's true. I see my friend. It's probably Sarah. She's out partying. Awkward Optimist is leaving. Oh, thank you for coming. We hope you had a really good first time with us. Mm -hmm. oh. Thank you for coming. I love Hanabi. Why can't she be in the comic sooner? It's going to be a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I want her to appear now. <gasps> Ash, hmm. are you still going to do a live right after this? I'm no, tired. you're tired. That's okay. You've gone to bed so late every night. Can I make a request for your next live right, though? Yeah. Can you write about Hannibal? <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You guys get to hear my weird noises I make to Ash. <laughs> We make them at each other all the time. Oh, we're so creepy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Now you know the real me. Is that cookie thumping around? Yeah, I think so. God. Hmm. Has she gotten fed tonight? Can somebody go give her her medicine and her food? She hasn't eaten since this morning. Aww. Why don't you go do it really quick, Ash? You're faster at it. It's okay. I can. Yeah, I can do it. I'll be right back.
Bye, Snow Way. Bye. Bye. Hmm, I've got her hood shape kind of messed up here. Hoods are such a pain to draw. How's Cookie doing? She's still got her thing on? Yeah. Good. Good, yeah. good. Do you think she needs some more um, put lotion on her here? How'd it look? It didn't look like it was healing? Or? Well, I mean, it, it, you know, luckily doesn't look like she's been messing with it. Yeah. Um, but it still I know she hates that cone, but the sooner she stops messing with her ear, the sooner we can take it off. She's got dried food on her face. Uh, At first I freaked out when I thought it was dry blood. And then I realized, oh, um, it's just a result of her vigor and enthusiasm. You did it. it. Sounded like a growl. Oh, maybe it's my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> or the lightsaber. <laughs> Laura asked, after her, he after her ear heals for good, will you start looking for a new home for Cookie? Yeah. We're going to get her shots and stuff too. Or at least some of them. And we'll probably sponsor her so that she'll be definitely likely to get adopted. But we're not really looking for a third cat. Yeah. And as much as we really like Cookie, I'm not going to be heartbroken when she's gone. She's a, she's a little handful. <laughs> yeah, and because because we've kept her and she needs care, at least for now, all the time, like every day she needs to be monitored and stuff, it has prevented us from going on any trips or anything. So I'm looking forward to when we can pass her on to someone else. Mm-hmm. But we're not going to do that until she's better, because I don't trust anyone but us to know her needs. I mean, I suppose I would trust a vet, but you know, if I want someone to adopt her. Not 
Laura asks, did people stop messaging you after the last rescued cat? No. Nope. I still get messages about it. Me too. I don't know what's so hard about just checking the post date, like the date on the post, and they would see that it was quite old and be like, ah, that cat's probably been taken care of by now. Blaze is wondering what kinds of food does Zora like? Are there any foods she won't touch other than carrots? Nah, carrots are pretty much the one thing she really doesn't like. Um, let's see. Was there a reason you made her dislike carrots or just... I, I just thought... Just felt like it. Yeah, I just felt like it. It's just a thing. Um, she really likes berries. That's canonical. She likes breakfast food. She likes pie. Sweet things. Sweet things. She has a sweet tooth. Which is good because her sister in law can help with that. Yeah, her sister in law has to a, her whims. Has a bakery for heaven's sake. <laughs> hmm. The biscuit turtle said. What's everyone's one hated food? Do you have any hated foods, Eleanor? Do they mean us or the characters? I think us. Spicy things. I hate spicy food. I can't stand spicy flavors. I also don't like alcoholic things. Mm -hmm. I just don't like the taste. And for spicy food, it's just... I can't understand the appeal of it. To me, it just hurts my mouth. And I, I, I don't like BDSM for my tongue. <laughs> I'm not into that. I don't like strawberries because they are deadly to me. Well, I think it's different between what you don't like and what is your allergy that will murder you. What? Okay, foods that I don't like. I don't like coleslaw. I don't really know why, but I don't like coleslaw. I don't like okra. I love okra. To be fair, I've only had like one of the worst examples possible of okra that even you and Sarah said was awful, and you guys actually like okra, but... That was pretty bad. I don't like that egg drop soup that they serve at Chinese restaurants. To me, it just tastes like mucus. It's like, it just reminds me of being really ill and going, and like getting all of that, ugh, ugh, ugh. it makes me gag. I, I don't like cucumbers. I love pickles. I don't like cucumbers. I don't get it. There are some peppers that I don't like. And I'm not even talking about spicy ones. I'm just talking about bell peppers. I just, I don't know. Sometimes I like them a lot. And sometimes I don't, like, I will still eat those if I must. Just like I will still eat cucumbers if I must. I just don't seek them out. Mist. I hate natto. Natto. Uh, makes me want to projectile vomit. How about you, David? Things that, uh, something that is both bland and has a lot of dairy. <laughs> um, which is a lot of <laughs> things. Um, like what? I'm trying to... <laughs> um, Um, I'm sure that 
I guess the 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 foods I really don't like I I don't encounter super often. That's mm -hmm. why they're it's hard to 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 think of. Them. But, mm -hmm. um, Oh, I, I, uh, yes, um, I don't like drinking plain milk. Mm, I don't like it either. I, I like it, but I'm lactose intolerant, so it, it's kind of hard. I, uh, I'm usually drinking it. Anyway. I think I could stand drinking milk more if it didn't always leave that awful taste in your mouth. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, with anything that has milk in it, that includes coffee or chocolate mm -hmm. or anything... Almost immediately after you drink it, you have this like really sour, gross, like almost like bad morning breath flavor. It's like coppery to and me yeah, a little bit. I don't like it. Yeah. They're asking I'll deal with that for chocolate and, you know, like Starbucks pumpkin spice latte or something. Mm -hmm. but I'm not going to drink plain milk. I don't like it enough for that. Oh, uh, Ashley is asking, do you know if the little sample tea tins have your art on them? I'm very tempted to buy the sampler for all the tea. Yeah, yeah, they do. That's what I've bought for all of mine. It looks just like... Well, let me, let me get back to... A... <sighs> but they have a picture of what it looks like. It's it's just like these. These are the sampler, sampler tins. <laughs> the Biscuit Eternal is asking about... What about the characters? Zora hates carrots. What about the rest? Uh, well, Claire is a vegetarian. She, when she was little, she ate fish. That was before she realized fish had feelings. Um, uh, so she doesn't eat fish anymore. Catherine probably gave it to her and didn't tell her that it was fish. It must have been, like, either unrecognizable or Claire didn't make the connection that this thing used to be alive and yeah, so Claire's a vegetarian. Um, let's see. Magpie would have a really hard time eating fowl of any kind. <laughs> I mean, for obvious reasons. Some of the other bird witches might hold similar uh, preferences. Let's see. Like me, Oscar does not like strawberries. Hmm. Catherine really likes sweet stuff. Both she and Oscar like sweet stuff. I've I've always imagined Catherine as being the one, the type to like flavors that I associate with like Christmas and being near a fireplace. Mm -hmm. Like cozy, homey flavors like cinnamon and those kind of spices. Not like, you know, jalapeno spicy, but mm -hmm. like pumpkin spice, sort of yeah. fall flavors. Yeah. Hmm. Doodle Oodle asked, does Catherine like Clementines? Yeah. Yes, she does very much. That's mentioned canonically in a missing moment, actually. About the fruit, not the person. She likes she both. loves eating her sister. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Clementine died. God, <laughs> this is why I shouldn't be allowed to speak in my own lifetime. <laughs> and then I know. I just have no filter. Mm, I'm trying to think. Olga. Olga likes some sweet stuff, but she's really more of a fan of savory things. Uh, I would say Olga really hates persimmon. Uh, just because I think they're gross. So. I think that there are some certain sweets that Olga likes mm -hmm. that remind her of her family. Yeah. Things that her family used to make. Um, probably some kind of like rustic mountain cookies or something. That, I don't know. But when I think of things like Olga's favorite foods, like Olga's comfort foods, I think like sausages, like potatoes, and... Beer. <laughs> Stews. Yeah. 
things that have been roasted th- or pickled foods too. Pickled foods or foods that like a lot of dried meat. That would be one of them. Uh, soups, really thick, heavy uh, stews, barley like stews, said. and things like stuff like that. trying to think. Abraham really likes Abraham really she likes sweet stuff too but not not obsessively. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any one thing she would dislike. Um, Marie really likes spicy things. Rosalie really does not. Really? Mm-hmm. It was mentioned in the live right that Marie likes lots of extra pepper in her eggs. Claire accidentally spills extra pepper, but she thinks it's okay because Marie will, will want it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> Rosie doesn't need any extra spice. <laughs> She's spicy enough. Uh, Pfeffer asked, does Abraham like Zora's cooking? Abraham likes pretty much everything about Zora, so yeah. I think, yeah. Abraham really likes fresh things from the garden. It reminds her of Yolanda. She and Yolanda uh, grew a garden together when Abraham was young. What kind of food do goblins like? Fresh vegetables and fruits. I mean, I if they lived underground, I'm sure they don't get a whole lot of that. Yeah, but I'm sure they have gardens above ground. And there are also ways to keep gardens underground with the aid of mirrors. Mm-hmm. I imagine they eat a lot of roots, too, though. Mm-hmm. Tubers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good questions, good questions. I would I would have to think about it. Jackson's real sick of bread. <laughs> she doesn't hate it or anything, but she she'd be happy to never say hello to another uh, another role. I'm almost done. So does anybody have any any last comments or questions for us? If Abraham knew that Jackson was Zora's daughter, would she have been more conflicted about doing a certain thing had Jackson been there? It really depends on the thing you're asking about. Oh, you forgot steam. Oh, no, you didn't. Mm-mm. There it is. I didn't. Uh, Doodle says when she locked the infirmary and set it on fire. At that particular point, and this will probably... This will probably make you upset, but... At that point... Abraham probably would have, yes, set the infirmary on fire and tried to dispatch Jackson. That was very, very soon after the fall of Eden, and when Abraham's convictions were really strong.
Okay, I think I have finished. Let me just. Blaze asks, are Zora and Henry still alive? That's a good question. Mm -hmm. That's something Jackson would like to know. <laughs> Laura asked, speaking of Zora, is telling the future part of Claire and Clementine's power set because that only happened once? Um, that's something that really only comes to them in flickers, and you might have noticed, but it really only happened when they were younger. Like, it, it probably will not happen again. And on that note, I'm done with the picture. Shall I at least end the recording? Yeah. Okay. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for joining us. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already. And check out our other videos if you like this, because we've got a whole bunch of them for your... Enjoyment. Yeah. And perusal. Perusal. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time, YouTube. Bye. Bye-bye.